Hi everyone, it's Mama D. David. And the Grinch. Oh wait, wrong story. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Faith. Faith. <laughs> and that was Ollie. <laughs> hey, last night we went to the Hale Theater to see one of our favorite shows of all time. A Christmas, Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. Yep. And let me tell you, what a show. Uh, David's going to start off. Um, it was directed by David Hale Dietline, the director. Hi, David. Artistic director and the pr president of the Hale Center Theater in Gilbert. What an amazing job he did as the director. It was choreographed by Cameron James. An amazing choreography once again. It's amazing. And... Lincoln Wright was the music director. Yes. So, let's get on. This is my turn. <laughs> first, first off, we saw the red cast. Red cast yes. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. At the Hale Theater, they have two casts. They have a red cast and a green cast. Um, now, if you haven't gotten tickets, do not hesitate any longer because, let me tell you, these shows sell out like crazy. They're, all, they're already 80% sold out. Yeah, that's, yeah. So you don't want to you don't want to wait too much longer, and you know speaking of that, if you're looking for a hard Christmas gift to get, especially for your older people in your life, your grandmas, your moms, your dad. Give them a date night. Um, get a gift card to a to a dinner place, and give them a ticket to the Hale Theater Christmas Carol, or you can go to Arby's like we do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. But there are Arby's. a lot of good places around there for dinner. Uh, Flancers, Whiskey Row. Um, Be careful at Whiskey Row on weekends. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets crowded, so you gotta, you know, you gotta go early. Former but, Uber driver. <laughs> but there are a lot of good places to go eat in the area or around the area, so it would be a nice date night, um, you know, theater ticket. Yeah. But let's get on with the cast. Um, Scrooge was played by our very own um, Fox Ten Arizona Morning Person, uh, Corey. Corey McCluskey. And let me tell you, what a Scrooge he plays. He is so great. He has you laughing. He has you crying. He, and he is just phenomenal. Yes. Um, when you go, pick up um, the programs there and, and get there early and take time to really read the bios. I didn't realize Corey played um, young Michael Hudson in NBC's Another World. Oh. Um, that wasn't oh. one of the soap operas I watched, but um, I think my mother did. <laughs> but... Um, it's amazing what you learn from um, everyone's bio. Um, the part of Bob Cratchit was... I'm cheating, guys. I'm sorry. But be, they they really? were just so great. <laughs> the part of Bob Cratchit was played by Miles David Romy, and he was so good. He really pulled you into the part of Bob Cratchit. He, uh, he was just so phenomenal. And, yes. And, again, had you laughing, crying, and... Just terrific. And it was this whole um, family that played his actual family. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yes. yeah. Like, yeah. Or a good portion of it. Like some were not. Good portion of the kids actually were they were, him and his they wife were related. And um, Fred. Uh, Fred was played by Danny Carpechian. I hope Danny, I said your name. If we don't, right. you know we're horrible um, at names. Danny was was terrific. Uh, he he really played the part of Fred really well. Um, and um, Heidi. Who, uh, who's one of our favorite people um, from the Hale. She um, played Fred's she played wife. Fred's wife. And um, led a lot of the choir. We are stuff. going next week because Heidi will be playing the Ghost of Christmas Pass, and we love her in that role. I've got to see her That's in that role. role. Yeah, David, yes. Heidi, David, Drew. That's his role. <laughs> sort of your sure. groupie. Um, <laughs> now, Raymond. Raymond Barcello. Oh Raymond, my uh, we saw you in Little Mermaid. You were amazing as Scuttle. I did. We saw you in, Dave and I saw you in Sister Act. I but I will tell you, your role last night um, as Bob, as Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley you, oh my God, I was shaking in my boots. Highlight of the you show. You were terrific. Really, yeah, the highlight of the show. And even as old Joe, you were great. But as <laughs> as Jacob Marley, wow, wow, you you really had me scared. <laughs> I, I, that was scary, but a, but but fantastic. a great scary, a great scary, <laughs> one of those great scaries. I mean, the part was really terrific. And Holly play, Payne played um, the Christmas past beautiful. Your costume we was. Her. We saw her in Meet Me in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, your your costume was beautiful, and you played the part beautifully. 
Um, I have to say, Tim Dietline, he played Christmas Present, the narrator, the businessman, and the Coleman. Everybody essentially played aside from yeah, Corey, a lot yeah, of it, a lot of the, the actors and actresses do play multiple roles. Yeah, but Tim, you really um, were amazing. His last really scene, amazing. His I love last, your voice. His last scene um, was just amazing. He gave as, me the chills as the, yeah, pre as ghost, the president. As yeah. the ghost of Christmas present, yeah. You, I mean. Uh, the people, we watch it every year. We watch like three, four different versions of George of Christmas Carol. Line. Yeah. Patrick on, Stewart, George on, C. Scott, on, Kelsey Grammer. And let me tell you guys, <laughs> you were just as phenomenal as all the Scrooge parts, the, the Christmas part. All of you were just as phenomenal as as the people that we watch on TV. Heck if, yeah. If not better. Better. Um, Blake, you were one of the scariest Ghost of Christmas Past. Future. Or Future, yeah. Ghost of, Ghost of Christmas Future that we've ever seen. Man, e. <laughs> you had us shaking in our boots. Let I'm me scared. Tell you. I was two feet away. I was scared. <laughs> she was scared. Yeah, she was right next to you there. No, I wasn't, but it was awesome. <laughs> but it was it was great. Austin. Austin's Austin. one of our favorites. We love Austin. And How Jody's have you favorite. put up with us for this long? And Aunt Jody's on Aunt Jody's favorite. behalf, yo. Yeah. And Jody couldn't be here today. She wasn't she yeah. was feeling a little under the weather. But um Austin played young Scrooge and um very very, various very well. Other and parts. plus various other parts. It goes um, without saying. Yep. And Grace playing Belle. Um Beautiful, beautiful part. Sad. Very sad. Um, Justin playing Mr. Fezziwink. Wink. And, Wiz, and I'm sorry. And The Undertaker again. And then we had Cammy playing Mrs. Fezziwig. Looking at your picture in here, my goodness, you're a lot younger than they made you look as Mrs. Fezziwig. Well, she's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> and makeup, good job. Bonnie, uh, Romy playing Mrs. Cratchit, you were amazing. Let me tell you, that last scene where they show that, that Tiny Tim uh, possibly passed away because, you know, it was in the future. Spoiler um, alert, not needed. If you don't know the story by now, I'm going <laughs> to... Um, you had me in tears. You had, you, you had me in tears. You really did. And Emily played Martha, you were terrific. And then there was Justin, who played Peter, and uh, Olivia, who played Belinda and Max. And yeah, there was Max, Beatrice, and Gigi, uh, Romy. They were all related. All no, family. One, no wonder you made the part so believable. You're all brothers and sisters. <laughs> um, Harrison, Tim. you were one of the best Tiny Tims I've ever seen. <laughs> you really, really were He does good. have a website. Can we read that? Oh, he has a website. He does have a yeah. website. We haven't checked it out yet, but we will. Oh, www.miller3.me. That's so cute. <laughs> that is really cute. And then Charlie played the boy Scrooge. Mm -hmm. And Kyle uh, played uh, Dick Wilkins. And our Heidi, she played our, mm -hmm. our Fred's wife. You were phenomenal. Benjamin played um, Topper. And, um, and then Kaylee, Topper's girlfriend. Kaylee, you were hysterical. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. You had me. You had me roaring. And then there was Cameron as Charles, Audrey as Victoria and the beggar woman, and then Hunter. Hunter, we love you, Hunter. <laughs> we do. As Team Robert. Red. Team Red. <laughs> Team Red. Now he's going to be but, green, too. And, so. I, and, I, and, I, and I wanted to mention everyone. I wanted to mention the whole cast. I know sometimes we just highlight... You know the the main characters, but last night every one of you did a phenomenal job. And what I really love about Scrooge, the story of Scrooge, is throughout the whole story they do some beautiful, beautiful Christmas caroling. Um, they do uh, Christ is Born. They do uh, Carol of the Bells. They do the Holly and the Ivory. They do the Ivy. <laughs> Ivy. All right, I'm not perfect. <laughs> That's what everybody likes oh, better. Oh, come on, come on, Emmanuel. They do, you know, the um, the ones we hear all the time, like, oh, come on, so come on, Emmanuel, joy to the world. But they do still, 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 which um, when Faith and David and I lived back east, 
um, we were in choir, mm -hmm. and yes. a lot of these songs we did in choir um, with lessons and carols. So it kind of brings back such a nice um, memories for us. Yes. Because uh, Faith and I sang, um, Faith David and I sang in, in what we called the adult choir. <laughs> I'm not sure why, because there were all ages in that choir. But there was the adult choir, and then there was the contemporary choir. Which did a lot more focus. And then Faith yeah. and I rang bells also. Yeah. She rang them a lot better than I did, that's for sure. More experience. But um, it brought back some fun memories of, of back home. So, like I said, they do, um, they did a lot of uh, the songs that you're used to hearing, but they did a lot of the old Victorian songs that you don't hear also a lot. Um, so we want to thank the Hale Theater again for just a magical, magical night. Yes. We also One are coming night. next Friday to see the green cast of because Christmas Because David Pass. has to see Heidi as Ghost to Christmas Past. Uh -huh. And fe it's featuring Arizona Award winner Rob Stewart as Ebenezer Scrooge. I wanted to see that. <laughs> but we did love you, Corey. We, we really loved you. You were phenomenal. And bless um, your heart for uh, doing it with uh, something with the boot. Yeah. God I, bless it, it looked like you had an injury, and the fact that you were still running around like crazy. Good job. Good job. Good Great job. job. Great job. Um, also coming up, like I said, um, theater is always a good Christmas gift. So those of you that are still struggling to get Christmas gift for the for that person cards. that has everything, they have gift cards. They have gift cards. They have um, besides uh, a Christmas carol. If you say, well, it's Christmas, um, they have other shows coming up. If you say so that, you're silly. Check out their website because there are a lot of great shows coming up after the Christmas season have, into the new year. They have um, cash on delivery, singing in the rain. Big River, Big River, Disney's Newsies. 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 That's a great show. Chitty Bang. Chitty Bang. I'll Chitty be back for Chitty Bang. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk more about that as yeah. the season Chitty goes Bang. on. But there are some good shows for you to get for family or friends, If for those people that are hard to get shows. And like I said, it's a great date night. Um, and besides the Hill Theater, we have um, other shows coming up that we're well, going to at see. The Mesa Encore Theater. Yeah. We have... <laughs> Vanya, Sonia, and Masha and Spike. <laughs> Hello, uh, Dolly. The Toxic, Toxic Avenger. Avenger. Yes. And In the Heights. Yes. yes. Again, these are all great shows that you can get for your family and friends as Christmas gifts. Did they put up the cast list um, for Hello, Dolly? Um, yes. And who's playing Dolly? Kathleen. Kathleen. <laughs> we can't wait, Kathleen. We love you. I'm not sure there's anybody at the Hell Theater we don't love. There is, it's you know, awesome. That goes it's awesome. Saying. The Mesa Encore has also a theater called the Black Box Theater. Um, they Small. are playing Scrooge and Rouge, playing so, from okay. December 14th to December 30th, and that's directed by Jean Paul Clement. They're also doing The Line in Winter, Boy Gets Girl, and Summer of Tennessee Williams. Yep. That sounds cool. So, get yes. your tickets, get out there, see theater, get away from the boob tube. Um, and, she and says right after I was playing video games in the morning. We'll also be going to the Silver Star Theater yes. soon to see A Christmas Carol, the December 21st performance. Um, but in other news. news. Oh, in other news, uh, for some of our local people, um, Combs High School, is, their theater is opening up, the Combs Performing, Performing Arts, Arts Theater. Um, go on their website, check it out, and they're going to have a ribbon um, cutting soon. So you might want to get on there and check it out um, January 29th. So all for, welcome. For all, all welcome. Everybody's welcome. So for all our local fa uh, family people, um, check it out. We're going to have another place that we're going to look and see what's going on there, too. So, I hope all of you have a merry, merry Christmas. I'm sure we'll see you before New York. Uh, Christmas Day. We'll be vlogging yes. again. But I still want to wish everybody a nice. merry Christmas. And remember, the, the idea of Christmas is not presents and, and what am I going to get and how much am I going to spend. It's family. Being with family. Spending time with family. That's the idea and the heart of Christmas and Hanukkah 
and whatever else you whatever else you celebrate. It's family, so try to remember that um, during this time of year. So from Mama D and David and the Grinch and the Grinch, <laughs> take care and, and God, God bless. bless. Bye. Bye.